All right, so I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this. You started to drive more and more traffic to your campaigns and you're looking for a bigger server to manage all the clicks that you're driving. So what you do is something similar to this. You go to your favorite um, hosting provider and ask them to get you a big uh, dedicated server. So to look something like this, get this big server right here. Imagine that this box is your server and then you'll install Prosper. It should be here. Prosper 202. And then um, you put your database. Actually, uh, some of you may have memcache. And then you have your database. So everything is on this one machine. So clicks come through here. Prosper analyzes it, you know, picks up data from memcache if needed, and sends it back to Prosper out. Or if the information is not in memcache, it goes into the database, pulls it out, sends it into memcache if you're using memcache, and, or back to Prosper and then back out to redirect to whatever website you um, are sending traffic to. Now, um, this is all fine and good, but what happens if this server goes down? All of a sudden, track clicks are coming through, but the server's not responding, and you start to lose money. So um, there's a better way, and I want to show you how to do that. So let's get rid of this stuff here and then start off with defining the ultimate prosper server let's draw our we got joe website visitor this person that just clicked your link clicks and even before they hit your server, what's going to happen is that they're going to hit a load balancer. And this is the load balancer here. What the load balancer is going to do is basically direct traffic to your different click servers. So what, what I recommend is to have at least three machines handling your click serving. Click server 202. Click server here. And then your lads click server. So when the traffic comes through, it rotates to each one of these servers. So each one will get approximately 33% off the volume, depending on how you choose to balance out the traffic. So for example, uh, you may just evenly distribute. So if click comes through here, it serves here, and then the next one will go to this one, and the next one will go here. Um, you could have these um, servers globally distributed. So maybe you may have one um, on the west coast, one on the east coast. And then maybe you're doing a lot of international traffic, so um, in Europe or something, and then you'll put one in Europe. And so what will happen is that you use um, global DNS with um, basically determine which server has the lowest latency for the click that's coming through and serve it there. So if someone's coming from the west coast, the server will handle all the clicks. Um, and then this one will do the east coast or anywhere, any, any location that's closest to the east coast will be served by here. And then all locations that are close to Europe will be served by this server. And you'll notice that redirects are going to be sped up quite a bit with something like this. 
Now, um, when, when the clicks come through, it's got to get some kind of information from the database. So once again, we've got our caching layer. Um, that could be memcache. Um, we also use something called Redis. And um, draw that in here. So traffic comes in here. Cache is usually in memory. Um, so what you could do is it could actually use the memory from these servers to pull and create a caching layer or it could use um, a completely dedicated machine that's just designed to cache information from the database. It's really up to you how much money you want to spend and how complicated you want your uh, system to be. Um, the cache pulls information from your databases. In a simple setup, you have one main DB that handles all your transactions. Um, if you want to be able to um, be prepared for any unexpected downtimes, you could have another replicated database that's ready. It's basically a hot backup that's ready to um, replace this one in case this one goes down. So all it does is just wait. Backup database. So this server is going to um, be in sync with this one and if anything goes wrong with this one all the traffic will route to this database and it will serve up information. Finally you could have one more database which is a read-only database and what this database will be used for is um, running reports and things that may slow down the database but um, you don't want that to slow down your database because you're serving clicks here and you got you have to write your clicks into this database so you have a read-only database and that just reads information it's replicated as well just reads information and returns it back to the cache. Uh, remember cache is memory, this is disk and the reason why we use a cache is that it's multiple times faster than actually having to read through on the disk. So um, uh, in heavy loads the cache can respond much faster and kind of relieve the databases of some of the work that it has to do. Um, on this side here you have the admin And this is where you log in. You log in here and um, run your reports. This is basically where you create your campaigns, the main tool to interface that you're used to. And that goes through the cache. If reports are being run, it will probably run it with just a read only. And if it needs, you need to create new campaigns and stuff like that puts it into the main database which then feeds it into these backup databases here. So there you have it. Um, what happens in cases of heavy load is that you just set up a new click server and the load balancer will add that into the rotation automatically and now you've just reduced the load where instead of getting 33% now it's doing like 25% each and you can just add if you need to scale you just keep on adding servers so there's another click server and then another one you can just keep on adding click servers and the load balancer will manage all of that 
And the reason why I can handle it so easily is because the load balancer doesn't really do any work. It just analyzes the traffic and sends it straight to the server that needs to do all the work. Um, so there you have it. You have your load balancer, which handles the traffic, sends it to the click servers, and then the click server will read information from the cache. If it finds it, it will work with that right away. If not, it will hit the database for information. We've got three databases here. Uh, well, what you need here is one for all the main work, one that's a hot backup. Ideally, you have this uh, in another geographic location. So this could be on the west coast, and this one could be on the east coast. So if some kind of disaster happens on the east coast or the west coast, then the other data center is ready to pick up right away without going down. And that's also happening here with these machines. If one of them goes down, you've got other machines to pick up um, the work. You can actually choose to load balance your load balancer as well if you want to be highly redundant. And then you've got your admin. Um, this server doesn't have to be a heavy duty server because the only person who's actually going to hit this is you. Um, you log into this, do all your work. So it could be a general server on that over here. But these heavy duty servers, caching, caching layer can be dedicated or it can pull memory from these uh, machines. So it could the cache layer could be a portion basically attached to these servers. And then databases make them separate servers instead of running them off these machines. And that way, if this machine goes down, if the database was installed on this machine, that means you're completely gone. But um, what you can do here is scale out multiple databases as needed with replication and you can read and write and replicate out to to help you scale up. So hopefully this has given you a general idea of what it takes to build out an ultimate uh, server architecture that will handle heavy loads of traffic through your uh, Prosper installs. If you need any help, uh, feel free to contact us and we can also help you do setup of a system like this or, um, or just talk to your hosting provider. If they're any good at what they do, they should be able to build out a system like this for you. Um, it's going to cost a bit more than you're used to, but for certain people who are driving heavy traffic, it's definitely worth the investment. Um, if this is something that's completely out of your budget, you can also take a look at our hosting um, service with our click server solutions and we've actually built out this full infrastructure for you so you don't have to um, spend all that money setting that up we've done that and we manage that fully for you so you have to do is set up an account and start running traffic so anyway um, that's it for now and I hope this has been helpful to you